What up people, this is Dragon Customs and I'm going to bring you the review of the Mortal Kombat X Raiden by Mesco. This is a 6 inch scale action figure that it is based on the newest game of course about the one and only Thunder God. Now for the accessories, I'll go first for the accessories. I don't know if this counts like one but he has his hat. It looks really nice sculpted even have the details inside of the hat this is a first timer because other hats never have were like this they were like all flat and they didn't have any details they have a really nice wash on it let's see if you can see it second off he comes with his lightning ball which you can attach it on this hand because it have a peg hole and the lightning bolt have a peg really fine accessory made in translucent blue and it is goes fading in this translucent plastic like the lighting is fading third he comes with some open palm hands really nice details And lastly, he comes with his lightning bolt hands, like he, he's shooting uh, some of the electricity because, well, he's the Thunder God. And I really like this, where the electricity is even coming out of his palm, not only his fingers, so he looks way better than the Marvel Legends movie Electro. And now we'll go for a figure. It have a really fine sculpting and this is because uh, Mesco used the Netherrealm Studios uh, official renders they scan it and print it so you will see any fine detail of the clothing uh, the leather pieces everything every texture around the figure is sculpted and really nice done for the paint paint is really great too as you can see there isn't almost any paint fading or bleeding everything is all symmetrical good looking very fine detail I love how the metal on the chin guards and the gauntlets uh, looks really gun metal really nice Uh, for about the articulation, uh, this is a ball jointed figure, which means uh, almost all of his articulation counts on that, if not all. Uh, so we have on the head double ball peg, so he can move up to this much, up, up to this much down, side to side, and it can rotate. For the arms, ball jointed again, this far up, full rotation, 360 degrees, bend at the elbow, swivel at the elbow, the bad thing that doesn't bend at 90 degrees at least, it should have been to make it look uh, a little more better. On, the, on, on all the hands it can rotate and go in and out. On the torso is another ball peg, so he can rotate side to side, and he can lean and move this much forward, it is not really too much, and this much backward. And the leg, ball jointed again, this much out, this much forward, this much back. Uh, tight swivel, single jointed knee, and again this rotation, which is kind of useless because he already have it right there. Um, for the ankle, you have another double ball peg, 
as I would show you right here but it doesn't really move that much so this much back this much forward and just a little bit of ankle pivot in overall for a $20 figure this is an awesome figure because I have seen and other figures like uh, <coughs> Marvel Legends <coughs> that they cost the same and they are crappy figures and this one really really looks great the articulation not so much but it is way better than things we have seen before about Mortal Kombat figures uh, one more shot showing you uh, a comparison so these are all the 6 inch scale Raiden figures that have always come with all the, uh, their accessories because this was the basic Raiden, never came with anything at all. This Raiden came with the, cra the hat that I said before, it is really plain, really crappy. You can see it is all bent too from the factory. And that's the San Diego Comic Con 2011 Raiden that glows in the dark uh, really cool feature but that's everything it have because it is the same mold as this one and uh, this year this there will be another glow in the dark Raiden but it will be made by Mesco and it will look really really awesome and I highly recommend this figure so people keep your collection growing and see you next time